All right, back on ABC 24 this week to talk about the city budget. Uh, the hearings are getting serious now as they rush toward a July 1st deadline to approve the budget for the next fiscal year. Back in the booth, if we can show the Memphis budget proposals graphic first, which lays out the three different ones that I guess are being looked at. Not the other one, I'm sorry. Um, $834 million is one proposal that Mayor Young is uh, putting up there, which would involve no tax increase. $860 million budget would result in a 50 cent tax hike, uh, a rate in the tax, hike in the tax rate. And $881 million, which is getting the most uh, attention because this is the one the mayor is pushing for the most, is a 75 cent hike in the tax rate. Um, and this is basically how a lot of that would break down. If we got the 75 cent increase. Uh, it would amount to about $188 for a person in a $100,000 home, $375 more per year if you're in about a $200,000 home. There's also, in addition to the property tax question, uh, whether to raise the solid waste fee, the cost for trash pickup, 38% uh, over a three-year period, 23% of that would happen uh, the first year as it would be spread out. So, you know, a couple dollars here, a hundred or so dollars there, and you know, there's a, a lot of, I, I said lukewarm support, I may be overstating a little bit on the city council, Mark, because uh, they know that this is not popular with their constituents. Well, absolutely. Uh, Councilwoman Kerry Green has been very, very vocal, and even uh, Democratic uh, councilmen have been equally, you know, in pause about what's going to happen. I have to believe that uh, Mayor Young came out of the shoot with just a very, very high number of 75 cents with the thought process that somewhere I'm suggesting possibly 25, 30 cents will actually happen. I cannot imagine the, the city council agreeing to a 75 cent property tax increase. We already have the highest property taxes in the state of Tennessee. And again, we continue to make promises to citizens of Memphis saying, if you give us these dollars, we're going to do these services for you. Yet, how often do we see the trash not picked up? Um, lots of things are not happening. And so, again, if, if this rate increase happens, I hope we see some results from the increase. Do we think that Mayor Young has done enough to make the case for why he needs this increase, Susan? What are your thoughts? Absolutely not. I think he has to come out. I think he has to boil it down to a very elementary level and say and show us exactly why mm -hmm. we need a property tax increase. Where is the money? Where is the money spent? Tell us where the bloat is. How is he going? Mm -hmm. What's the first thing is he going to do? Is he going to trim back anything? Is he going to cut any expenses? I think he has to, I mean, even do it in a PowerPoint and do it very mm -hmm. simply. But I know that you mentioned Jerry Green, the city council member. This is her first term on mm -hmm. the council, and she's pretty impressive. She asked a question in the budget hearing recently and wanted to know where is the largest stockpile of unaccessed funds that that we have mm -hmm. in the city of Memphis, money that we haven't been able to get. And I think it's the, um, the interim CFO told her that it's embedded in traffic citations mm -hmm. and parking tickets. A hundred and forty million dollars wow. that's sitting there that it's, has not been collected, that people are not paying. Mm. And she floated an idea, and nobody listened to it, that, well, what if we go to the people and say, look, we'll give you a break. You pay 50 cents on the dollar. That's only on raising what 70. Owe. What you owe. Mm -hmm. And that would bring in, in a, in a perfect world, 70 million dollars, which far exceeds our budget shortfall. I mean, I think the point she's trying to make is there are ways that we can find money in this community mm -hmm. that we haven't explored yet. For, for Mayor Young, I think if he really wants to push through a massive um, tax increase, yeah, explain it to us. But I think he may think it's good politics to try and exact a tax increase in his first year. But I think what he's missing is the one thing that voters never forget is a tax increase, especially 75 cents. It's, yeah. it's, 
it's bad politics. Well, I think it was the Memphian who did a poll that found taxpayers will get behind one, but you've got to make the case. Right. right. And I haven't heard a lot of, hey, we're going to cut here. We've we've looked ever under uh, under every rock for waste that might exist. We've done an audit to see where we can trim. Now we're coming to you because we'd like we we're, we we need this tax increase. I couldn't agree more. And to Susan's point about what uh, Jerry Green was saying, that that's a valid that's a valid idea yeah. that needs to be pursued. Um, but let me talk a little bit about that uh, trash uh, increase because that's a big one as well. Mm -hmm. um, the, we know that Memphis has a blight problem. Right. Uh, and I was talking to someone the other day about why don't we um, just charge uh, individuals extra for the mattress that needs to be picked up or the and I'm saying that won't work. No. Because it'll be a bureau bureaucratic nightmare. Well, not only will it be a bureaucratic ni nightmare, but we will see more of what we're seeing right now. They will just take that mattress dump. down to Walnut Grove right. mm. and and dump it like I've seen it done already. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, so we, we will have more blight. Mm -hmm. uh, so if we if he's serious about getting rid of the blight and he thinks that this uh, extra trash. Uh, fee will take care of that. I would be supportive of that, but I think it hurts um, most of the residents. I think in the, the head city. of solid waste also told the council, um, I stand to be corrected, that he's understaffed, that yeah. he has what, fifty some odd um, positions uh, online for to hire people. He right. can't fill these positions. Right. Mm -hmm. So well, that right. that's that's a problem in the efficiency of the solid waste. Right. Well, he the, the solid waste director really needs some enforcement folks because all of a sudden, because people put their sofas out there, they put all types of furniture. There's some things that we shouldn't be picking up because it becomes unsightly. The city of Memphis actually picks up that furniture and disposes of it. There is nothing that says that we should be doing that. Right. And so he does need code enforcement officers to deal with those folks who have consistently uh, evicted people and then they throw everything on the street. Same way with uh, professional tree trimmers. It's mm -hmm. okay if I put my tree trimmings on the street if I've done it personally, but we've got, we, have, we have allowed commercial tree trimmers to leave gigantic stumps on the side of the road right. instead of hauling it away. And so if we're, if we're going to increase the, the fee, I think we have to be sure that uh, Director Davis gets the staff to deal with the enforcement of trash. I'll, oh, I, I'll bet you that there are, uh, there are many small businesses here that would mm -hmm. pick up that trash, that would pick up that, the furniture and dispose of it properly if they could subcontract with the city, I mean with the, with, with the city. But do you know how difficult it is for these, these small businessmen right. to even fill out the legal forms to try to apply mm -hmm. to, to subcontract with the city? So it's, it's a problem. Um, I don't know how to resolve it, but I, I do know that when it comes to imposing a steep tax increase on the people, I always go back to what I've always said, there is a disconnect between the people who spend our money and where the money comes from. Right. Well, especially when it's a solid waste fee, which uh, is the same for everybody, no matter how much you make. Right. Right. And so that really hits the, the folks on a fixed income, oh, the yes. seniors, yes, the hardest. Yes, All right, we'll take a break. When we come back, we'll talk about the goings-on within the uh, Memphis Shelby County School District right after this.